Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Go guide. And today I want to show you how to install and play Pokemon Go on your computer. All you need is a PC, an Android emulator, Pokemon Go and a fake GPS software. And yes, it does not only sound like cheating, it is cheating. I'm not really sure how Pokemon handles that. If it's like an ingress, you should be careful. So don't jump around too much between the locations or between countries or anything like that. So I don't take any responsibility if your account gets taken down, suspended, if you lose all your Pokemon, so whatever. So do that on your own risk. All right, then now I would say let's get directly started. So we're using BlueStacks. It's an Android emulator, which I have been using for a very long time because you can do very cool stuff with that. And you can find the download link down below in the description. So um, all you need to download is BlueStacks. It's that Android emulator, then the fake GPS software APK. Watch out, we need the location spoofer APK. It's a pro paid version. You, I'm probably, sh yeah, um, I will leave you a link down below, but it gets taken down fast. So I'm pretty sure that you will find it on Google. But with that software, it works for sure. Then you need the Pokemon Go APK. You can also get it from the Google Play Store in BlueStacks, but it's a little bit more confusing and adding um, yeah, a Google Mail account in um, BlueStacks can also cause problems with Pokemon Go. So I would go with the APK. Then here we have Lucky Patcher. This is really important because we need to get root access and we need to install the fake GPS software as system app and we're going to do that with Lucky Patcher. In order to get root access and to grant root access to Lucky Patcher, we need King Root. It's an APK which um, helps you to root that um, Android emulator. By default, when you start it after the installation, so you just go through the whole process, it will look like this. You will see here a screen, basically the home screen, where you can see your recently played apps and here are some suggestions. Now we have to install the APK files, okay? So make sure you go out of full screen, then you will have here a sidebar on the left side. So here you go to that round thing in the middle which says APK. Now you just um, go to the folder which contains everything you have downloaded, so all the APK files. And um, I have it here on my desktop, Pokemon Go PC. And the first thing you should install is the Pokemon Go APK. So just go to open, it will now say here install APK. Wait until it is finished and if you go here to all apps at the top, you will see Pokemon Go listed here. Now do that for all the other applications except fake GPS. So we're now installing Lucky Patcher. There we go. So just wait for it. Lucky Patcher is that um, little smiley here. Then you install King Root and yeah, then we're actually done for the moment. So now we have to get root access on the Android machine. We're, we're doing that with King Root. You can also use that on all the smartphones. So most Android 6 smartphones are not rootable with King Root. It will also install Purify System, so some kind of C cleaner application where they want to scam you and get money out of it and ads everywhere. But yeah, you have here some root authentication um, error and in order to fix that, you have to press the Fix Now button to make that Android thing here happy, okay? So just give it a couple of seconds. It will now say Routing. And yeah, I'm just wait until it reaches 100% and then we'll say Finished. This step is really important because if you don't have proper root access, you can't grant it to a lucky patch and you can't get fake GPS as a system um, app, okay? Um, you don't have to press optimize now, just ignore all that shit and close King Root. Now here in Android, you have to go to all apps and now we're going to start Lucky Patcher. So there we go. And now it will ask you for root access. Really important, be fast, go to allow and then Lucky Patcher should have root access. All right, so now we have to install the fake GPS software. We are doing that by um, importing it into the Android software. So right under the APK button, there's a little folder. Just click edit and there you will see um, another um, window popping up and now you can browse again for the APK. Go to fake GPS location, open it up and now it will ask you with um, which action you want to open it and you always have to choose um, send to window. So also choose here always. All right, so now you hit save here again, and there we go. The next thing you have to do at the bottom of Lucky Patcher, so here's rebuild and install. Make sure you click that. Now you go to your SD card, Windows, BST shared folder. This is basically the folder where everything gets saved if you import it by the default way. And there we go, just click on the APK, and here you go to install a system app really really important so do you really want to make this application a system app you go to yes we need to do that because otherwise there is no expert mode for us now you will see please reboot to apply changes you can press the yes button or you hit no and you go to the little gear at the top and there's restart android plugin 
So what we're going to do now is we're restarting the virtual Android machine. This can take up some time depending on how many apps you have installed and it's now reloading everything, rebuilding the cache. So just wait a little bit until it has been rebooted. All right, Android is upgrading. This is completely normal. And then you will be back here in yeah, Android and see here all the apps. So just wait a bit, there's something spinning at the top. So um, some windows closing up and down. All right, we now started Lucky Patcher again, and now you should see here King Root and all that, but you can't see, for instance, the fake GPS application. This is because it's a system app and it's sometimes hidden. This is um, why you have to go here at the bottom to search, um, right to rebuild and install. At the top now you will see filters. You go to filters and you choose here system apps to see all the system apps, and now as you can see, fake GPS that pop up. Now we're going to launch the application, okay? Um, when you start for the first time, you'll see how to operate, blah, blah, blah. You hit the OK button and um, now just wait a bit until it has loaded up. And in the right top corner of the app, you will see here three dots or three rectangular shapes and you go here to the settings, okay? And in the settings, make sure you tick expert mode. Don't tick hide icon, so this must be unchecked, really important too. And yeah, you can play around with the rest of the settings, but don't mess anything up. By default here, everything works good. So we have your GPS speed and all that, but I was not really using that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we can go back to Android. So GPS software should work and now we can start Pokemon Go. So just wait for it. It's now loading up. And if you did not um, add a Google account to Bluestacks, then you have to add it right now in Pokemon Go. So I would suggest that you do it in here because um, this was always working once I did add it in Bluestacks, but it was kind of buggy and I couldn't log in. All right, so sign in with Google and there we go. And now you have to, you will get that ad here and then you can add your Google account, okay? So just go here to sign in. And this is also a little bit slow, but should actually work. If you want to use the on-screen keyboard, if you can't type, just choose input method. So you just have to slide down from the top and switch here off the hardware keyboard, okay? You can still use the hardware keyboard. And now you have to log in with your Google account. So just give me a second, I will quickly do that. And um, I will catch you in a second. All right, guys, you will now see loading. And if your GPS signal was not found, you will actually be here in the ocean waiting for GPS to pop up, okay? But now you go back to Lucky Patcher and yeah, um, you restart fake GPS if it has closed. And now you press the escape button to go back here to, um, yeah, to the map. And now at the top, you go to the search and you just type in the um, location you want to use. So I'm from Austria, actually from Vienna. And I will start here in the middle of Vienna. So um, yeah, the Stephansplatz the heart of Vienna and you shouldn't jump around too fast between countries because if you now want to go to New York and your previous location was in Austria and that was like 10 minutes ago, uh, this is not going to work. So now we're starting here and now we can press the play button to actually fix our GPS location right here where the needle is located. All right, so fake location engaged. Now, um, yeah, fake GPS will go to the background and now you can switch back to Pokemon Go. Now just wait a bit and GPS signal um, will actually be found in a second and you can now use your mouse, I will make this quickly here a little bit bigger, you can now use your mouse to um, yeah, look around, also to loot the Pokestops, so just spin here, there we go, yeah my bag is currently full and the only thing you can't do in the application is move around. In the next video I will show you how to use the keys on your keyboard to go around, this will be yeah, the best setup to play Pokemon Go on your computer but it's a little bit more complicated. Now to go around, you need to um, swipe down from the top and open up fake GPS again. And now you have to um, move the needle. So just click at the needle, move it a little bit around. So for instance, here to that street and press the play button in the right bottom corner again. As you can see, it now, you now move in Pokemon Go. So now I can loot that Pokestop. And yeah, as you can see, it works pretty fine. I get experience. I can walk around, I can hatch my eggs, and I'm just a lazy ass bastard here sitting in my office. All right, so this is how you play Pokemon Go on your computer. Remember, you can get banned for that. Now the detection rate is not so high. 
but you have to do it um, yeah, kind of intelligent and not um, swipe between countries and all that because this will get you banned soon. They have some kind of algorithm and it will detect that and yeah, suspend your account or delete your Pokemon or just ban you for 24 hours. Alright, yeah, that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it and the next tutorial will come soon so that you can move around with the WASD keys on your keyboard and you can find all the links down below in the description. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like and a comment down below and subscribe that you don't miss the future update Pokemon Go videos. So thanks for watching guys, have a nice day and bye bye.